folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Redikai Gold Metanoid Action Figure set by Spin Master. This set was first available in 2011 and I got this set in 2012 uh, at Target while it was on clearance. Uh, it was originally priced at $15.99 but the clearance price reduced it down to $4.78. Taking a look at the gold metanoid here in the packaging, you can see it's a very robotic type of figure. And uh, these figures are actually based off the Redikai, I guess, card game and uh, cartoon show. I don't know anything about the Redikai universe, uh, but they did produce these figures that look pretty cool and have some decent articulation. And uh, this particular gold metanoid is part of the deluxe series of uh, figures. Uh, the main series of figures stand about 4 inches tall, while the deluxe series stand about 7-8 inches tall. And you can see that uh, Gold Metanoid here comes with some uh, cards, some Blast 3D cards. Uh, they're basically lenticular cards. And uh, this figure also has a Try Me feature there. Uh, you press a button and uh, he'll light up uh, in his chest area. Just press that there and you can see a, a nice... Uh, sequence of uh, animations there of ex what look like explosions on there so pretty cool on the uh, other side of the packaging here we have a nice picture of the figure and I guess the, the use of the card in the game which is uh, pretty neat and uh, we have here some description uh, of uh, the X drive uh, I guess that's the um, the motion activation type of thing I'm not sure and here uh, we have a description, uh, I believe, of Gold Metanoid. I didn't even read it, uh, but uh, there it is if you want to read it. And uh, there's the animation uh, that lights up the chest area. And down here we have uh, an advertisement for the card game uh, there. You can buy booster packs uh, for, uh, I guess, to go along with the uh, figure here. And uh, this set does contain one figure and three X drives, or basically cards, on there. So, pretty interesting. Now, uh, we'll be right back and have this gold metanoid out of the package. Okay, we have the gold metanoid here out of the package. And I like this figure. I was not expecting much uh, from a figure line that's... Uh, primarily uh, based around a children's uh, card game and TV show but uh, I was pleasantly surprised at uh, how well this uh, figure is uh, designed and uh, actually can go well with other uh, figure lines now before we get into the figure let's go ahead and take a look at the items that come included with the gold metanoid and we'll start out uh, with this here and this is basically the instruction sheet on how to use uh, the metanoid figure and let me just turn that down a bit there and you can see uh, you can, the contents of the gold metanoid set also when you uh, open this up you can see how to use the cards uh, to go with the figure which is actually pretty cool and also instructions on how to change and replace the batteries and on the back side here we just have some uh, compliance uh, rules I guess on there uh, with the FCC <laughs> and uh, that's kind of interesting and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards that come included with the gold metanoid uh, there are three of them they call them uh, X drives and they're basically uh, lenticular cards which is uh, kind of a neat uh, I guess a uh, feature of uh, this particular card game uh, they're lenticular so they provide a little bit of animation to them now these cards are a little thicker uh, due to the lenticular nature of the card and uh, if you uh, angle the card you can see uh, they come with these uh, neat little animations which is kinda cool on there and I do not know how to play the game uh, I really got it for the figure but uh, if you want to take a look at this uh, the rule of this particular card uh, this is a plasma hands card and uh, it's pretty neat 
and you can see it's a bit transparent and that's to go with the feature of the figure there and uh, it's actually kind of cool uh, the next card uh, we have here are, is called uh, Fire Whips and you can see the animation of that on there and this one's a little bit more blocky in, it, in the animation uh, compared to the previous card it's kind of cool and uh, this card here is called Sonic Slap you can see the, the rules on that particular card there and uh, this animation uh, is uh, pretty interesting as well I don't know if maybe no you can just do it to angle it up and down uh, not side to side to get the animation there so that's kind of interesting now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, gold metanoid figure now like I said I was not expecting much uh, from this figure line I was expecting uh, almost uh, the basic five points of articulation but it has a uh, actually a little bit more uh, about I think seven uh, on here and uh, it's actually uh, kind of neat or oh, nine I'm sorry uh, nine uh, points of articulation and uh, from what I understand, uh, this is supposed to be the final form uh, or monster of uh, the hero in the cartoon series in the, in the I guess, the game. Uh, the character's name is Kai, I believe. And he uses this as his final form or monster. And uh, that's about as much as I know about uh, the uh, Redikai universe where it pertains to this figure. Other than that, I know nothing. <laughs> and... Uh, I really got it for the figure because I thought it looked pretty decent and uh, looked like it can be used uh, with other figure lines uh, and you can see it looks very robotic in nature uh, which is kind of cool so you can use it as a like say a, uh, an army of robots uh, robot villains uh, in, a, in your uh, other universes of figures which is kind of cool and I uh, this figure stands about seven inches tall, so you could probably use this in, uh, like I said, uh, different lines, just for size comparisons. I do have a Masters of the Universe uh, Classics figure of Hordak there. You can see how uh, tall uh, this particular figure is, and it's actually uh, kind of neat. And if you wanted to, you can actually probably use it in a 4-inch line uh, to represent a large uh, robot. I'll just put uh, Thor here uh, from the Thor movie line. You can see how big uh, this figure towers over the 4-inch figure. So, uh, to, this figure can be used in a variety of uh, different uh, universes. So, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, looking at some more of the details of this figure... You can see, like I said, very robotic in feel. And uh, got a very uh, interesting head sculpt there. Uh, it's got these two uh, big red eyes that are painted uh, on there. And I have to mention that the paint quality is, is uh, alright. It's decent. It's average. Uh, there's, there is a lot of bleed uh, on the edges uh, between the two colors. You can see underneath the torso there. And... Uh, it's all right. Uh, it's not outstanding. You know, it's really a, a really generic figure here, and uh, it, it's, it's just average. You can see more paint uh, bleed on here on the chin there. So, but still uh, pretty decent enough. Uh, and uh, the primary uh, color scheme of this is uh, gold and black on there. And uh, looking at some more of the details here, you can see uh, some of the uh, divots in the. Uh, in the figure and that makes it uh, even more uh, mechanical and robotic in feel and it's actually uh, kind of cool on here now uh, the feature uh, the gaming feature uh, to be used with the cards here is actually pretty interesting it has basically a uh, projector type of uh, feature and each of these uh, lenticular cards down in the corner here have uh, basically a sequence of three uh, animation cells you could say and uh, when you have this card attached to the figure this uh, area here on the chest actually lights up and uh, projects those three uh, cells in an animation sequence which is kind of cool uh, to activate that basically you have this back panel here that you just pull open 
right there and you can see a slot right here where you place the uh, corner of the card now uh, you cannot uh, activate it unless you have that card in the slot uh, here's the button to activate it on, on the waist you can see it does not light up but uh, if you actually uh, pull this out and place the card in the corner there uh, you press the button on the waist and uh, an animation sequence will light up on the chest and it's kind of hard to, uh, to see it uh, there we go a little bit better the uh, lights uh, turned off kind of cool now it's pretty abstract on the on the animation I really can't tell what they are uh, but it's actually uh, just a neat uh, doodad feature I think is actually kind of cool on there and each card has a separate uh, animation there which is actually uh, kind of neat. It's uh, pretty cool. Now, taking a look at the rest of the figure, you can see uh, that it's a little stylized. Uh, the arms here are a little uh, larger than normal, uh, especially the forearms. They almost go down to the floor here, but still I think it's actually kinda neat to have this robotic like uh, figure to go uh, with different universes and uh, it's actually uh, kinda neat uh, you got these little spikes on the shoulders and the forearms to add some style to the to the figure uh, like make it a little distinct and uh, you can see uh, over here on the legs where it continues with the gold color scheme on the leg area it's actually uh, pretty decent now, uh, to go over the articulation of this uh, particular figure, uh, the head is on a simple ball joint. Uh, the head can go all the way around and uh, up and down, and it actually can come off. You can see the simple ball joint there, and it can be easily uh, put in there. And you can have it up just about that much to get the head that high, even though it's not all the way down into the joint. So uh, you can have a, a variety of poses there. And the arms are on a hinged uh, swivel joint at the shoulder, so it allows the arms to go all the way around, as well as uh, out and in. No uh, bicep articulation, but there is elbow articulation uh, with a hinged swivel joint, so you can straighten the arm uh, that far back, and uh, you can get it that far in, as well as uh, all the way around. Uh, there is a little bit of hindrance uh, with this elbow uh, sculpt here, but you can get it all the way around. Uh, there is no articulation at the uh, wrists or forearm uh, for the hands, and there is no articulation for the torso or the waist, uh, primarily due to the electronics or the light projector on the back there. Uh, the legs are joined at the hip with a hinged swivel joint, so you can uh, move the leg uh, up and uh, down and uh, to the back and if you swing uh, the uh, hinged swivel joint there you can get it out to the side and uh, there is no thigh articulation but there is a uh, basic uh, knee articulation well a little bit uh, better than basic knee articulation um, but you can have the knee uh, bend up and down as well as uh, swing it all the way around at the knee and uh, th there is no articulation uh, at the ankle for the feet. So overall, it's a, like I said, a pretty decent figure. Uh, better than um, I really expected it to be uh, for a uh, kid-designed uh, line. And uh, you can really use this uh, for a variety of uh, different uh, universes. Uh, this is my casual peek into the Redekai Gold Metanoid action figure set. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.